We are talking about the Gamecocks. The undefeated Gamecocks will face Oregon State in the Elite Eight tomorrow with a chance to go to the Final Four on the line. But Carolina isn't the only reason why Albany has become a prime destination for basketball fans this weekend. News 19's Chandler Mack joins us now live from the Empire State. Chandler, what can you tell us about today's matchups? Yeah, Rachel, like you mentioned, we are here to cover the Gamecocks, but to be honest, being in this arena, being in this city right now is honestly a college basketball fan's dream. Let me tell you why. Fans are leaving the arena right now as they got a chance to witness not only the reigning national champion LSU Tigers advance to the Elite Eight, but they also got a chance to see Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes do their thing, and they won their matchup against Colorado, and that's going to set up an all-important rematch of last year's national championship matchup between them and the LSU Tigers, which is set for Monday at this arena. And Kaylin is, of course, the leading scorer for NCAA Division I men's and women's college basketball. And yeah, you could see Kaylin do her thing on television. But a lot of the fans that we talked to today told us that they had to see Kaylin in person. I'm out of my skin. I can't contain myself. He really can't. I'm, I'm <laughs> super excited. Yeah, he's driving. No. <laughs> seeing the back and forth and obviously Caitlin Clark generational player uh, we're excited and family I mean it's the shirt Iowa is family Yeah, and Caitlin, of course, ended, Caitlin and Iowa, of course, ended the Gamecock season last year in the Final Four. And after that, earlier in this season, Raven Johnson, Gamecock point guard Raven Johnson, told us that that started a revenge tour for her squad. And now they're three wins away from completing that tour with a national championship. But, of course, first things first, they have to get past Oregon State tomorrow in the Elite Eight, which is a round that Coach Staley has said in years past is the toughest round to get through in the NCAA tournament. But she said with this year's squad, that's not the case. Well, we throw all of that out with this team. And this team, this team stays in the moment. So I think they really understand uh, where they are and what they want to do. Um, and this is just another opportunity for them to, to get to the end goal. We've been through so much. If you would have seen us in July and June, I mean, you would never thought this team would have been here or at this moment. We shoot, I mean, all of us thought we would have never been the number one team in the country. I think we put in the work and we just trusted the process. So I'm just proud of this team. Yeah, and if the Gamecocks beat Oregon State tomorrow, it will be the fourth straight season that the team had reached, will reach the Final Four, and it will also be the sixth time they have done it under Don Staley. I'll have more on this matchup later at 11. I'm sure Reggie will have more on it later in sports. Reporting here in Albany, New York at MVP Arena with the Gamecocks, Chandler Mack, News 19, WLTX.